tomorrow I'm going to have an attempt at smoking my own salmon, cold smoked salmon. I've got my two fillets in the, in the bag there. I'm going to dress them up and prepare them for putting in the brine. Uh, so, first of all, I've got everything clean and cleanliness is essential because if you don't want any germs because it's going to be cold smoked and there's no cooking involved. Which I've just defrosted them because if you freeze them for a couple of days it kills all the bacteria that's on it. So I've still got the pin bones in and uh, some of the fins that I'll need to take off. Uh, I'll just do that now. They're quite small, but I'd rather practice in something small and waste a big bit of salmon. Now wash the fish in cold water. Well, my fillets have been soaking in the whiskey for half an hour now and I'm just going to give them a rinse off in my Pyrex dish. fish just so it removes the moisture from fillets. Squeeze the air out. Leave it there to draw the moisture out. Well, I've been waiting in the brain, dragging the moisture out of the salmon. I've modified this cardboard box, opened up the, the lid, and sealed round the edges. I've uh, stabbed holes for skewers to go in so the salmon will lie on top of the skewers here. And it, but I've left some out just now because what I'll do. So I'll get a frozen bottle of water uh, and place that in the bottom. I've tried it out and I can get a two-litre bottle of water and it will be it'll keep it cool. 
so it'll definitely be, definitely be a cold smoked salmon. Uh, previously I've got this old kettle, closed the vent and the spout, knocked a hole in it, put a bit of stainless steel pipe and uh, mesh inside to, to put the sawdust on and I've also made a hole in the bottom where I can slide back and forward to allow the volume of air in to alter. I've got my gas uh, lighter so that I can light the sawdust uh, and hopefully I'll be able to keep it going for 8 hours because I reckon that's what it'll possibly take to, to cure. I've knocked a hole also in the, the bottom of the cardboard box uh, and it, the pipe out of the kettle will allow the smoke to come up and into the cardboard box. So, still got another oh, hour for the brain to cure the salmon. I've left it a wee bit longer than I'd planned, but uh, mainly because I'd had a look at it and it hadn't taken enough moisture out. But I'm hoping now that uh, it should be well enough cured now. Uh, it's, it's got uh, quite a bit of the moisture out and it's quite a small thin bit of salmon and I don't want to over cure it and end up with it being really tough. So I'll take it in and rinse it and then put it back in the fridge overnight. So I'll take these out here. I thought it should come out and be quite a bit stiffened up. And I'll let the moisture off them. So give them a little rinse in cold water. The texture is, feels really pretty good. I didn't want them to tuck it all good. Actually, want to leave them so that they get a wee bit tacky and greasy on the outside, and that helps take the smoke into the salmon. And if I leave them in the fridge overnight, they should be absolutely wonderful for spoon. They look pretty good. You can see how shiny they were. Straight off the tide, these wee girls. I've now set up my kettle, got my sawdust inside and the pipe going up into the box and uh, my bottle of ice down the bottom to keep things cool the pipe coming in at this end and the salmon will just sit on top of the skewers and just close the lid so I'll fire it up It's wonderful. So I'll now go get the salmon. Yeah, I've just been washed my hands again and uh, the smoke's coming out the pipe. The salmon feels leathery on the outside just a bit. So just slip it in then. Both fillets. Plenty of room for them. stay in there for about eight hours. Well, it's over an hour and the smoke's coming out it so I'm quite happy I'm not going to bother opening it up to have a look. I'll just stay uh, continue to let it smoke on. That's six hours gone and uh, I'm still smoking away. Might keep it a wee bit longer than the eight hours, we'll see how the time goes. Well, I've just brought the salmon in. Uh, that's been smoked for ten hours and they smell really nice. So we'll need to wait and see how they taste tomorrow.
Now I've had the fish in the fridge overnight. This is me taking it out to sample a bit. It's ended up with a wee bit of ash on the, the end when I've put the fan on to keep the smoke going. But it, it actually smells very good. So I'll just a wee cut into it. Take a bit off. Here it looks. It looks pretty good. Tooth's in the pudding though. Mmm, lovely.